I'm, I'm just really um, happy that you're willing to come away from the table. Um, I'm like nervous now, and I'm never nervous, I feel nervous. Don't be nervous. I know, I'm nervous because I really want to show who I am, and I'm nervous to, to, to show you and tell you what I'm feeling. Take your um, time, you don't have to speak right away. Okay. Um, I see how you are with all the other women, and I, and I see how you're fun-loving and generous, you have a great heart, and I really regret that I didn't get to know you in this last night. You know, I'm trying to analyze what's going on here. I have to figure out, like, what, what it is about me, you know, that, like, triggers people, like, I triggered you. I regret that, because I didn't want to trigger you. I really wanted to get to know you. Well, you know, I appreciate you opening up to me now and feeling bad about it, that means a lot, but because we are at the end of our trip, you know. Um, I was scared. You're not afraid to speak your mind. I was like scared to say to you something because I thought like maybe you'd attack me. Okay, so she's playing the victim card again. Tread very carefully. I was nervous, okay, I was nervous. I was okay, nervous. Wait, you weren't afraid to call me a bitch. <laughs> well, no, because you, you know what? You gotta be honest in this no, conversation. No, I, I, somehow you triggered something within me it wasn't maybe you, it was something within me that made me react. And I don't know why I reacted the way I did, because I don't normally say that to someone I don't know. You know, for me, it was like a slap in my face because I'm like, well, I was trying, you know. I'm not that person. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm upset with myself how I butted heads with you. What do you think's going on over there? I, don't I mean, know. they're taking a Well, I like time. that it's taking a while because if it was too quick, that's not good. Well, Kyle and I were talking to her today. And she's like, I always wanted to get to know Kenya, and it just got off on the wrong foot. Oh, so, well, right? She teared up. Yeah, she did. She did. Real tears. Yeah. Really? No, they were. You were the person I really knew the least, and I really wanted to get to know you. And one of the things I wanted to kind of like share on the side with you, if you wanted to talk about it, was that, you know, you and I have a little bit of similar backgrounds growing up because you had a mother who, you know, wasn't there for you. And even though my father was in my home physically, I got no love from him either. I don't know your whole story, right. but just the things that you've shared, I think that we could possibly connect on those things. My Mom, she has never acknowledged me my whole life. Oh my God. Hello? Hi. She's done this before? Oh, I've done, done this a million times. You know, it's a waste of time. I heard you locked the door. She gave me to my grandmother. She signed the papers. I, I asked how old you were at that time? Three days. Three days old? Mm-hmm. She never named me. She didn't want to have anything to do with me. We learn love from our parents. Your mother teaches you how to love, and then the father teaches you how to love another man. So I had a very difficult time finding relationships. I would pick men that wouldn't connect. Yeah, on emotionally purpose. unavailable. It's the yes. same thing that I do now, and that's why I'm, I'm in this situation with my husband. Through therapy, I learned that, yeah, that is a direct correlation on my mother's situation because she was never emotionally available to me. Yeah. Jerk portobello and capri salad. Oh, I'll try it. Yeah. Okay. You will love it. Thank you, honey. You're welcome. I have a question I want to ask everybody. This is the one I've been wanting to ask the most. Really? Did you have a, a misconception about people and then all of a sudden you feel totally different about or not really? Kenya. You know, because people kept saying she's a drama queen. I literally, like, all of you asked me about her. Right. <laughs> Everybody called me I was like, what about Kenya? I am a very forgiving person. I don't really hold on to grudges when people are accountable for their actions. I actually respect that more than anything else. I won't hold a grudge against you. I appreciate that. No, I won't. I, I promise you. The only thing that would bring us backwards if the same behavior shows itself again. No one is perfect, but you have to show that you're growing. Not going berserk on the plane on you, for me, that was a lot of growth. <laughs> well, thank you for that. I appreciate no, I'm so that. serious. I'm really glad that Kenya and I had this conversation, and I feel like we both have come to understand each other better and can build a friendship. I think what you need to is a hug. You know, I do need a hug. Oh my yeah, God, thank you for saying no, Okay, yeah, sometimes. Oh my God, thank you. Know. Kenya, you thank you for this time. Time. You're okay. You're gonna be okay. Thank you.
There's a lack of love in Ramona's life. She's seeking attention any way that she can get it. I'm starting to peel back the layer and to see who really is Ramona. I mean, that feels really good because the path to any friendship is common ground. Housewives in the island, baby, so let the party start. The woman beautiful as ever, the sun is hot, boy. Are you ready? 